Thing to consider, more than half of all Gen Z teenagers say that they get their news mainly from social media. That's according to a Deloitte survey. A CBS News investigation found misinformation about the conflict between Israel and Hamas is widespread on those platforms, and it can be difficult to tell what's legit. Mm -hmm. National correspondent Tom Hansen explains the consequences of being misinformed and what could be done to help decipher the truth. The Sphere in Las Vegas. With over one million lights, countless tourists have traveled to this architectural marvel to feast their eyes on a giant eye or spectacular views of the moon. And this viral Instagram post claims to show, after the war started, the Sphere even transformed into a massive Israeli flag in solidarity. But did that really happen? Real or fake? That's exactly what these students at Highland Park High School in Dallas, Texas, are trying to figure out. Raise your hand if it's real. This is a fake. Now, when you're pulling information off of social media, you know, how do you know that it's accurate? If from the first pass I truly can't tell if it's real or not, usually put it into a reverse image search. Brandon Jackson leads this media literacy course. It focuses on misinformation, which is incorrect or misleading, and disinformation, which is deliberately deceptive. Is there any part of you that's like, if that's fake, then what's actually real? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. all the time. You have this feeling in your chest almost where, oh, that was fake. I totally thought that was real. Makes you feel stupid. I thought I was smarter than that. The lessons are a counteroffensive to the information wars playing out on social media. Bringing the shock and horror of a bloody conflict more than 7,000 miles away directly to the screens of American teenagers. Are you guys seeing the same war that your parents yeah, are seeing? Definitely not. These students tell us what they see on their phones, whether real or fake, shapes how they see world events. It can cause like someone to like pick a side or even change their mind about what they previously thought since it's so like polarizing. Video has a kind of immediacy, but we need to help people understand how to evaluate a video. Stanford researchers found teens are not evaluating enough to recognize the deluge of misinformation online, and that can have dangerous consequences. We are in a new economy, and we need to understand that the goal of this economy is to enrage us. As an experiment, we wanted to see for ourselves just how challenging it is to find the truth online. With the help of my investigative producer, we created three profiles on Instagram and TikTok. I think we're curious when you start from a blank slate, what comes at you when you search certain terms? So how are we going to set it up? We have three different phones, and along with that, we got three separate SIM cards. We posed as gender-neutral 17-year-olds interested in learning more about the Israel-Hamas conflict. Our first account, Taylor, searched these terms about Israel. 19.7 million posts. Andy, our second account, searched these terms. Lots of Palestinian flags. And our third alias, Sam, typed in both searches. We also started following accounts. 81.2 thousand, so we're going to follow that one. And liking three posts for each one. If this works the way it seems, in the background now, the algorithm should be curating things on that topic. Today, we're going to see what the algorithm gives us back. Oh, that is graphic. You can see a bone sticking out of his leg. It's hard to watch. Those really hard to watch videos became a pattern on the accounts where we included search terms like the Palestinian flag. After adding a couple more searches on each account, our feeds were full of false information on all three. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like this video of someone claiming to work in a Gaza hospital. I have to fix a fracture for a five, a five year old boy. Without An analysis revealed this video was staged. That video has already been widely debunked. If I am searching for information about this conflict, that still pops up. Yeah, no matter if the video gets debunked, it gets reposted and they can still go viral. The same thing happened with this video that popped up on our account where we searched Israel-centric terms. 
that reported to show an Iranian warplane landing on an Israeli aircraft carrier in an attack. Obviously, that would generate global headlines. The way that looked, it looks like a video game to me. But like Dan Evan at the News Literacy Project had some doubts as well. The nonpartisan organization teaches students how to tell fact from fiction on social media. Well, the same tip that I give every single time is to slow down. Look for authenticity, look for the source, look for evidence, uh, look for reasoning, and to look for the context. Evan calls it pre-bunking. In other words, doing your own fact-checking before you form an opinion. When you're developing you know, your views about the world, these false claims alter that. They drag people down more dangerous paths. Right now, 18 states in the U.S. offer some form of media literacy education or resources for students, but only four of them require a media literacy curriculum for all students K through 12. People are recognizing how unprepared we were for the internet, and we're catching up, and we are trying to get this stuff into schools, and I think more schools are being open to that. Schools like the one we visited in Dallas, where students believe this kind of curriculum could make a difference, not only in the classroom, but also in the world. I hope that people in our generation start to want to become more educated about issues. And like, it can just be really dangerous if we don't seek out the real information. Tom Hitson, CBS News. So you may be asking, can you make those algorithms stop? TikTok now allows users in the European Union to opt out of its algorithm. So far, TikTok and Instagram do not offer that option in the United States. Both say they're fighting the spread of misinformation and working with fact checkers. We sent examples to TikTok, which were then removed from the site, but we've seen some of those videos are still circulating.